In this example, we have two sets of nested brackets. Reading left to right, we get to this one first, so we will solve it first. Inside, we have a smaller bracket which does not have similar terms, so it cannot be simplified. It's there because it is being multiplied by this 2e. The 2e is on the right side of the bracket, which is unusual, but it still means a multiplication. The multiplication has to be done before this subtraction. So I write the answer to the multiplication inside a bracket, and I get 2e squared times 2e, which is 4e cubed, and 2 times 2e, which is 4e. Now I can remove the bracket and fix the signs. I get minus 4e cubed, and minus plus means minus 4e. and the minus 4e cubed is carried down. This bracket can no longer be simplified, so I'm just going to be rewriting it, changing the signs because it has been multiplied by a negative 1. The second bracket has 2e times e inside, so I get 2e squared, and 2e plus 3, which will give me 6e. Multiplying the negative 1 across this bracket gives me negative e, and the minus minus means plus 4e cubed. I'm going to remove this bracket because it is no longer necessary, and I get plus 2e squared plus 6e. The only similar terms that are left are the negative e and the plus 6e, and negative e plus 6e is 5e. So my answer will be 4e cubed plus 2e squared plus 5e. In this example, we have a bracket which cannot be simplified inside. The bracket is there to show both a squared binomial and a multiplication. The e for exponent comes before the m for multiplication, so we are not going to multiply by 2 yet. We are going to square the binomial first. First thing I'm going to do is write the squared binomial as a multiplication so that I can see what I'm doing. But I have to remember now that it's expressed as a multiplication, I don't do the leftmost multiplication first, because this still represents a squared binomial. It's still an exponent. It has to be done before the multiplication. So I'm going to multiply this using the FOIL and write the answer inside a bracket. x times x is x squared. x times y is xy. y times x is xy and y times y is y squared. Now I'm going to simplify inside the bracket. xy plus xy is 2xy. Time to do the multiplication. I write the answer to the multiplication in a bracket because this minus sign that's before it. And now I'm going to remove the bracket and fix the signs. Minus plus means minus 4xy, and minus plus means minus 2y squared.
it's time to combine similar terms. We have a negative 2x squared and a negative 3x squared. They combine to negative 5x squared. And I cross them out so that I know I'm finished with them. We have a negative 2y squared, and it's the only y squared term. You copy it down and cross it out. We have minus 4xy, which is the only xy term. Copy it down and cross it out. Finally, our constant terms, we have positive 5, minus 5. They cancel, and we have our final answer.